Hi everyone, this is Tammy, owner of Worthy, Worth It, and Priceless. And I wanted to just give you encouragement of what to do basically uh, when you have setbacks in life. So basically give you encouragement through life's setbacks. So with that being said, um, it has been a while since I did my last video and a lot of things have happened. Basically life, um, I started doing new products the first week that I was in here and then I know Yuvea had my daughter had off of school and then she got sick and then just recently not too long ago um what happened was they um well with her being autistic I have to do monthly parent uh meetings with the last meeting that I had they were stating that Yuvea was regressing now for all of you that don't know or this is your first time doing watching a video, hello. But um Yuvea is three years old, but her mind is that of a newborn to two year old. So she isn't all the way there as far as just basically she's missing a year of development. So with that being said, when I had the last meeting, they were stating that Yuvea was uh, regressing back to being a baby and it's like Oh my gosh, you know, like, you, you know, um, and I'm not going to say I wasn't devastated because I'm like, I did everything that you guys said. I, you know what I mean? Like, I don't understand how this is going on. So with that being said, when that actually happened, it was like, okay, I put everything on hold for the business. Um, like I stated, I had new products. I stopped doing the advertisements for them. Um, I didn't do any videos. I didn't, I haven't done any podcasts or anything like that. And I just recently just started um, back getting into swing of those things because it seems like she's doing a little, at least better at home. And sometimes it's just that she might be doing something different at home than she's doing at school. So hopefully um, I'll get a report next week. So I have to do the meeting again. So hopefully around that time, you know, it'll be a better report. But with that being said, um, when you do hit life setbacks, what you have to do is make sure, one, I know you're going to get emotional. Do what you have to do emotionally, like, you know, if you have to cry, get da da da. But now it's the time to get back to work. Um, you can do everything that you might think in your mind, what the professionals might say, or anything like that. But then you have to also put God into the mix. And a lot of times we use so much on a, on a rush trying to do this, that, and the third. And we're so busy in life and we're so connected as far as um, with social media and everything. And a lot of things that get misconstrued or get messed up is, you know, we don't have time for God and we don't, you know what I mean? We, we just... We just don't, and we or we don't even have time for ourselves. We don't even have a chance to think. Everyone is pulling us in every which way. So with that being said, this also could be to the whole point too that it's not a setback, but it's actually a setup. And what God is trying to do, okay, you did everything they did. Give it, give the problem to me, and I will make it better for you. But a lot of times we just want to do everything ourselves. I know me, I just want to. Do everything myself like you know what I mean I'm just so independent and this that and the third and a lot of times you have to be humble enough to say okay I can't do everything myself God please help me and you'll see how God will turn everything around and turn your whole situation around but if you just keep trying to hold everything yourself you're going to fall apart and there's things that we don't have control over and that you do need the extra help the extra boost or whatever to just get through and with that like I said sometimes just take a breath take a, a breather it's these last couple of weeks even I mean if you've seen everything that's going on in the world it's just too whew, it's just a lot and it's like okay you sometimes just take a step back reevaluate the situation okay how are we gonna do this different and as far as the situation with my daughter it's like okay um there's things I have to do myself and you know I mean and I have to look within myself once you get over the emotions and you get done with the crying and all the other stuff like oh my god it's my baby dude you know what I mean but
but I'm the voice for her. So I can't fall apart because she's looking up to me and it's like, well, mommy, you know what I mean? Like, you know, although, you know, she, she can't talk. So I have to be her advocate. And with that, I can't fall apart. If I fall apart and she falls apart, then who's going to help us both? Like, you know what I mean? So it's just that. And I just want to let you know, just don't get discouraged. It happens. Every, you can't, um, stop life from happening as long as you're living you cannot stop life from happening but it is the point of getting back up and getting on track okay what do we do now I can't do anything about the past I thank you for the knowledge or everything but I can't do anything about the past but what can we do from this day forward and every day when you wake up realize do it from this day forward every day is a new day try something new do something new um, anything that you may have messed up in yesterday, make sure you don't do it in today. And then anything you mess up today, make sure you don't do it tomorrow. If God allows you to wake up. So just don't give up on yourself. Stay encouraged through all life's ups and downs and you will make it. You know, um, don't let a temporary situation be permanent. You got this. You can do this. There is nothing too hard for God. And just know that all things are working for your good, even though it may look like things won't get better. It's just going to be an instant and everything is just going to turn around for you. So until next time, just realize and know that you are worthy, worth it and priceless and have a great day.